and welcome to Geo Snippets for Michigan Magazine Television. I'm Head Hard Hat. In the next few minutes, we're going to give you some interesting information and tidbits about the game, the sport, yes, the obsession, known as geocaching. In this episode, we're going to be doing a review on an application for a BlackBerry phone known as Blackstar. We're going to take Blackstar through its paces, tell you the results, and get the information right back to you. Let's start that now. For the Blackstar application to work correctly, you need to have the correct BlackBerry phone, internet access, GPS capability, and you may or may not have certain applications that is needed on your smartphone. And here you see my BlackBerry Curve. The Blackstar application may look slightly different on your phone depending on which type it is. But for our example, this is what it looks like. You'll see right off that it'll start looking for satellites. When it starts getting about three or four, the coordinates will actually pop up, including the altitude. Uh, for security reasons, we blanked it out here. But uh, as you can see, uh, you get a reference exactly of where you are right away. You can go to the menu and actually start looking at different options through Blackstar. For example, tracking. Now with the tracking, when you start walking, it'll actually keep track of how far you did in distance and give you some general information. This can be handy. Now we're going to actually take a look at the list of waypoints, which are the geocaches. It calculates distance from where you're at and tells you through your GPX file which geocaches are closest to you. It gives how much distance and the name of it. It'll then give you a series of other options that you can do with your geocache information. We're going to actually go and take a look at the uh, details about a geocache, as you can see here. Once you choose the geocache that you want, you set it as a destination, and then it'll set the coordinates and the direction and how far you go. Let's go see what this geocache is here. Okay, we're at our first location and we're going to try to find our geocache using the Black Star BlackBerry application. We're going to go down this path. We've got to go about 300 feet. Let's see if we can go find it. Okay, I actually found after a little bit of searching around the geocache and interestingly enough with uh, Black Star, it's about 30 feet off. Right here is where it's saying where ground zero is and the geocache is way back where that log is back there. So let's go see the actual geocache and I'll show you what we found. There's the geocache. One of the things that bugged me with the BlackBerry phone and the BlackStar application is that the, the geocache was actually 30 feet off. Uh, to re-verify that, what I did is I put the exact same coordinates in my Garmin 60 CSX and I was actually to get down to about 7 feet. So what I'm figuring, uh, even though it is fall and a lot of leaves are gone, there still is a lot of foliage up above uh, us in the trees and that may be affecting the smartphone. Smartphone GPS units are not uh, as durable and as accurate in heavy foliage. We're at our next geocache site. Black Star is actually 18 feet off on the cords on this one. It's a micro, really well hidden. Let me show you what it is. Check that out. Okay, we're gonna do some manual testing now. I really wasn't happy with the results while we went geocaching yesterday, so I wanted to go out and just see bare bones manual testing, see what we can come up with the Black Star application. What I have here are some marker flags, my Garmin 60 CSX that we're going to use for the actual marking of ground zero and then two separate applications on my BlackBerry phone to see if the applications can actually come up with different values on the same phone or if it's the application itself. Let's see. Okay, what I'm doing now is taking the information from my Garmin 60 CSX GPSR and put it into the Black Star application. Then we'll go from there to see how close we can get to it. Jumping around quite a bit. All right, I'm getting zero. Right there. 
I'm going to test this a couple of more times from different directions to see if this is exactly where it's showing up as ground zero. Let's see what happens. Now would you look at that? It's showing from coming from this direction, ground zero being right here. And that <laughs> Check that out. Okay, again, zero showing up right here. Well, out of the four different directions, I'm going to have to move that flag from its first time that we tried finding it, from here, over to here, a good four to five feet off. Distance from the cache at this particular point is about six feet. Not bad, but we're in an open field with a clear blue sky. Let's try Geocache Navigator and see how that does on the exact same phone. All right, now check this out. This is at ground zero. I am at zero feet right there with Geocache Navigator. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with Black Star, the flag back there. I'm going to come from some different angles to see if it's going to come back right to where this is. No joke, zero right here. Let's try some other angles. Zero from this side, dead on. So the application must have something to do with it. Let me try it again. Zero, dead on. One more try. Zero, dead on. That's our proof came from four different directions for both flags. That one there, this one here, Black Star seven feet off, Geocache Navigator is dead on. That proves the point. The application definitely has something to do with it. Who would have thought? Okay, so let's go over how the Black Star application did today. Now the first three geocaches that you see here we did out in the field. The first one was 30 feet off, 18 feet off, and 23 feet off consecutively. The fourth one was a manual test that I did in an open field and was only 8 feet off. Okay, so let's give Black Star its scorecard. Learning curve B+. May be difficult for newbies to get going, but there is a PDF file available. Usability A-. It uses so many different applications and can really slow you down. Accuracy a B. Found many different applications that were more accurate. And affordability an A. And it is a free application. Well, folks, it was an absolutely beautiful day for going out and testing a GPS application like Black Star. What I highly recommend because it is a free application and and if you are interested in it, load it onto your BlackBerry phone, give it a spin. That's the best advice that I can give to you. If you're starting off with geocaching, I think you're going to find it a fully functional application to go out there and get some geocaches for yourself. Well, folks, it's time to go. This is Head Hard Hat for Geo Snippets and Michigan Magazine Television saying we hope to see you out on trails real soon. Bye-bye, folks.